Hello everyone, this is Shelby with Shelby Creations. Back here in the Dragon's Den. So, I'm trying to clean off my desk. And, you know, we all end up with leftover book pages, with scrap papers, and it's either put them aside and find some time to use them, or I've been turning them into little envelopes. Super simple and you know, just busy work and thought I would bring you along and show you how easy these are to make. Now I've got several scraps here and this is actually when I took a book apart, you know that thick front first page? I've got that and the page that's attached to it. A couple of scraps and Let's start with this one here. Very simple. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold in this edge. I know that's not very straight. Let me see if I can do that a little bit better here. There, that's better. And I'm just doing the tiniest margin over here meeting it on one end and that's it. Now, I'm going to fold this up because I probably want it about there. And of course, it's going to buckle on me. Press that side down. And then I'm not coming all the way down. All I want to do is fold that over just a little. There. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to come in here where this fold is. I'm going to cut at an angle and go just past where I folded and snip that up. This way I can actually go down the other side. come a little past that fold and then just do like a 45 degree angle cut there. Do the same thing here. And I'm not cutting all the way to that fold. I'm staying inside a little bit and then coming up this way. Get to where the crease is and then go out. Now, on this part here, if you want to, you can take your circle punch and cut out a little space. I've got this, I don't know who makes this punch, but all it does is it punches a notch, just like that. Now, ink this up right quick. My dauber is actually dry for once. I'm going to do that side and come in here just that much for now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease these just a touch and come in with my glue and very little. You just need enough to hold it. And fold that up. And yeah, I was a little over here, but that's fine. Now, if you do not have one of these corner choppers, what you can do is actually come in. I like using a penny. And all I want to do is draw that corner there. Draw that corner there, and then come around with my scissors and cut on the line. And then as I come around, just straighten it out. Very simple. On the line. And there. Now, 
ink up the inside. I know my inking is horrible. Do that line and then I'm going to come around here and do this outside. And there you go. Easy as that. If you want to ink the outside, that's fine. You can do that too. But they are very simple to make. And this was just out of scrap paper. Now, what I like to use is, let me put the lid on that because that will dry out. I love using these inside book pages. I'll just I'm gonna take that little one off. And I'm going to come here and where that was glued down, I'm going to cut that edge off. I mean, it'll probably get trimmed off anyway, but I don't want that edge in the side of, because it will put some bulk into this end here. And I don't want that added bulk. A little crease there match my end here and then that usually creases right down like it should and then do the same thing here and this will actually give you a somewhat larger envelope i'm not going to go all the way to the edge just like that now if you're unsure about where to cut, it's you can also take this and go right down here. See if I can open this up so you can see it. I come right along here until I get to there and then angle out and then come in and snip that off. And then we'll do it to the other side. Come in get to where it's creased, angle out, and then get my scissors under there and snip that end off. And we're going to do the same down here because that's going to bring that edge in enough that it should not go over your fold. Oh, that wasn't too good try that again. I didn't go in. Ah! Trying to get my scissors in here. There we go. Do that way. And then I'm going to come up from here and do this side. Just like that. Get to the crease. Cut down from the crease. And then just snip that side off. That way I can come in on the sides and fold that up. Now I'm gonna bring in my punch again and sort of as much as I can center it, cut my notch and, and get this part inked up so that I can get it folded. Now this one here I will use my corner chomper on because it's just easier and there and there and then put a little bit of glue don't reach for my dauber reach for my glue put a little is it coming out or did I have another I had it clogged earlier. Put some there. Fold that up. And see, I didn't go all the way to the edge of my glue because I knew I would have these pieces coming up here. And if you want to trim those further, you can. And then just come in here and ink. Now with this one being plain all the way around, I do want to get that inside edge. And then do my outside. 
and it's just that simple, that easy. And there you have another envelope. Now the problem that I run into is when I use, get a bunch of this trash out of my way, oh, not my penny, this trash out of my way. The problem I run into is when it comes to book pages. Now I already folded this one. So I'm gonna come in and just trim this down here. And then do this side here, a little pass there. Trim that side off. Do the same down here. A little trim and go out here too and trim that edge off and then I'm just going to open that up and remove. I'm not worried about the torn edge here because that's getting covered up. So that's not an issue. Now what I do want, let's see, how far is that going up? Is that, all right, that'll work. All right, I wanna see where this is. That didn't angle up quite as much as I wanted. Let's do it this way. I see where my page is going to fold up at. So I'm gonna trim up to there because I want that part hidden. And then I can see there that I need to trim up from here. I'll start here, and I'm gonna go straight up to that corner. Now, come back in here with my glue, and a little here, a little here. Make sure I got it there. <coughs> and then fold that up. Now, I did not ink anything on this one, but that's okay. But you see, the front of the envelope, all the words are right side up, but on the back side, where the flap is, they're upside down. Now, it doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, what you can do is simply use your scraps and cover it up like I did on this one or even this one here. Because these, these I will stick in my book like that. So you open it up, the words are straight. And then it's like that. So, and I think on this one, I'm gonna come back in here with this. Trim that corner. Trim that corner. And there we have that. And you see how quick and easy these are to make? And they can go in the journal. You can glue them on the page. You can attach them with a paper clip. And this one here I'm going to leave straight across. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bend that outwards, ink that edge up a little. I always like doing my inside fold and then getting these inked good. And there we go. It's that quick and simple. And instead of wondering what you're gonna do with this, or even just, you know, if they're odds and end pieces, instead of just setting them aside, or at worst case, being tired of looking at them and chucking them, here you've got some cute little envelopes that you can stick in your journal. And when you use the, the inside pages of your books, you know, the ones that are stiffer, that can even be, that makes an envelope that is sturdy enough to go into the mail or use it as a, an invitation or whatever. 
and they come out blank and they're really nice looking envelopes even if I do say so myself but these are quick and easy and before you know it you've got a nice little stack to put in your stash to use in your journal now if you've enjoyed what I've shared with you today give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time here in the Dragon's Den. Bye, guys.